Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am really excited today because I finally got this package in the mail from Fet Clone today. If you don't know his work, I will have him linked below, but I promise you will be following him after you see this video. If you don't know his work, he is a painter that does his own custom head sculpts and custom paint jobs on Black Series figures and really takes them up to a, I think, Hot Toys quality level. His focus tends to be on the Fet clones, if you couldn't tell from his name, so Captain Rex, the Bad Badge, etc. I haven't seen anyone nail the Tamura Morrison likeness better than he has. And you can see it really just takes average Black Series figures and just makes them look like they are extremely premium imports, which I guess they are in a way. For the amount of time he spends on each head, I think his pricing is really fair, but it will cost you more than one Black Series figure for the head alone. And by the way, this is the Cal Kestis poncho that I repainted and put on the Bad Batch Rex. I did have to take off his shoulder pads though to get this to fit. We're gonna move a little more quickly now as we get through the other 10 figures in this series. I think my first order from Fet Clone was about three different heads, but this order was eight different heads or nine different heads, and so my Fet Clone collection is growing very quickly. And this Commander Cody is holding a custom holo projector that I made and resin printed with a custom hand that I bought from Bounty Supply Co. on Etsy. This next character showed up in the Bad Batch just for I think one or two episodes and quickly became a fan favorite and I personally really love the character and the design. He's got this cool haircut and this is the only full figure that I bought from Fet Clone. The rest are just standard Black Series bodies or ones that I've customized myself. But when I saw this on his Instagram, I begged him for it. I think I asked him three times to see if he would part with it and eventually he did. So I am really grateful to have this in the collection and is one of my favorite figures on the shelf. Now this Bad Batch Hunter figure is actually just the stock Black Series body. I did do some dry brushing on it to give it that kind of metallic texture, but this head really elevates it to a whole nother level. I have to work on the pose a little bit, but the way that this head sculpt looks perfectly like the animated character as well as Tamara Morrison at the exact same time is really impressive, and I think that's the coolest thing about his Bad Batch series. As the main villain in the prequel trilogy and the sequel trilogy and the main trilogy, you would think that Palpatine would have more than one figure out. I guess maybe he has two if you count the two different versions, but it's the same outfit and I would love to see more prequel Palpatines in the line. This is a custom figure that I made using a Severus Snape figure arts torso and a couple other fodder pieces, but I love this figure. This Imperial Crosshair head sculpt is what convinced me to put in a new order with Fet Clone, and then over a few months I just kept adding heads one by one as he posted them, just because they are so undeniably awesome, and being able to pay them off one by one made it a lot easier to order so many, and so once it arrived I was like, oh boy, this is a lot of new heads to put on these figures, but I don't regret any of it, and I'm so excited to have these in my collection for years to come. And this next figure I showed off in my Tython Boba review with the Jedi Ruins figure, but I really think this one specifically makes a huge difference in the figure. The Black Series Boba head isn't the best, it's a little wonky, it looks a little puffy. I think he really just nailed the likeness here and the paint job is incredible. I'm really excited to have this on my Mandalorian shelf next to Fennec Shand and the Artillery Stormtrooper. And then we also have the Daimyo Boba Fett. So this one's a little bit different than the last one. He has eyebrows in this and his face is a little bit more healed up, a little bit less scarred. He's been spending lots of time in the back to tank. I really love the expression on his face here. He looks just a little bit bored, a little bit pissed off, just like when people are coming into the palace and just begging him for money or just asking him for help. Just that kind of unfazed, cool Boba Fett that we all know and love. This is going to look so cool in my little Book of Boba Fett area. I might even keep him on the throne now that I have this complete package here. This Echo Head blew my mind when I saw it on Instagram. I just... This is what convinced me to start getting the entire Bad Batch from him, and I know he's working on tech with the goggles included, as well as a Wrecker head, and I'm definitely going to be getting those as soon as they are ready. I can't wait. The Echo Black Series head is especially bad, I think. I was going to do like before and afters on these, but I just don't think it would be fair to the Black Series because these just look so much better. And I give the full 360 view here because of how cool that headset looks. And now moving back away from the Fet clones, we've got Cal Kestis here. Cal Kestis is one of my favorite characters. I built this custom little setup here with his hand and a, it's just a push pin, I think, that uh, I glued the holocron to and just stuck it right into this open hand that I think I got from a Marvel Legends figure. I've talked about it before on the channel, but I love how beat up his face is here. He looks like he's seen some stuff. 
and uh, again, one of my favorite characters, along with BD1, and so I definitely had to get this upgraded head when I saw it on Instagram. I guess this one's not a Fett clone because he is the man himself, Django Fett. This Boba Fett is a Omega body with a custom head from Scoundrel Stock that I painted. You can see my paint skills are nowhere near his, but hopefully someday. Uh, that's wishful thinking there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys all of these. I'm so excited to have them. This collection got out of hand really quick, but again, zero regrets. Go check out his page below. He's got a ton more characters, both from Star Wars and other properties. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. There will be more to come, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.